Hello, everyone. We'll get started. Uh, thanks for joining or attending this Encore presentation. Uh, we had the uh, uh, same presentation uh, this past Tuesday, uh, and we welcome you for being able to join us today. The um, What we're going to introduce are two new sound absorber products that Kinetics is, is introducing, and one is the PET product, and another one is a KNPE product. My name is John Sofer. I'm Director of Sales for North America for our Commercial Airflow Industrial and environmental market groups, and uh, we're happy to present today some uh, new products for you. I take a stance here and just wanted to start out. There's there's uh, what we call the ABCs of acoustics. There's absorbers, barriers, and composites, and the products that I just mentioned, the PET, the new PET product we'll cover, and also the KMPE product are absorbers. They're sound absorbers. They don't have sound blocking capabilities, uh, and they're not an absorber and a blocking composite. They are strictly a sound absorber. And just to give you a little background, I wanted to cover in the beginning just a few products that we currently have, and then we'll quickly get into our new products. Um, you want to use sound absorption uh, when you can't control the noise at a source. And as you know, it's very important or very efficient. If you can control the noise at the source of the noise, that's usually the best way to, to handle things the quickest uh, with the most uh, noise control. But sometimes you can't. Sometimes the, pace, the space is very uh, too congested uh, to put an enclosure around a piece of equipment or something like that. So what you want to do is you want to look at just sound absorption. And in that case, if you're looking at a 10 dBA uh, type noise reduction or maybe a 6 or a 5 dBA, 8 dBA, somewhere in that range, um, sound absorption alone can often uh, obtain those noise reduction levels. And remember, though, 10 dBA, some of you might say, doesn't sound like it's going to be a huge noise reduction. But since it's logarithmic, uh, the human perception of sound, anytime you have a 10 dBA sound reduction or noise reduction, to you, the average person uh, with our average hearing, shall we say, it's going to be perceived as sounding half as loud. So when we get into these sound absorption applications, uh, we want to start looking at the walls and ceilings to see what their makeup is and what surface is, is, is offered to us as a substrate to mount different types of sound absorption. And sound absorption is strictly this, uh, sound is energy. Uh, you have a sound source here that's giving off sound power. And then you have, once it uh, moves away from this sound source and enters into the space, it becomes sound pressure. And that is energy, right? So we look at the blue surface here. It's a very hard reflective surface. And what we've done is we've mounted a sound absorption material to that surface. So some of that sound energy will propagate. It'll propagate through that sound absorbing material. So some of that sound energy will get absorbed and hence the sound is reduced, the sound energy. And then some of the sound will be reflected back and pass through that absorber again. So it softens the walls so the receiver within the room uh, hears a sound or noise reduction. And uh, so that's what we're going to be talking about. Some of the products we currently have, because people say, well, Kinetics has so many products now, why do they need any new products? And, and there's reasons for new products. There's always applications for something new. And maybe the economies of scale are better. Maybe the efficiency of the product is better. Maybe you get better lead points for a certain product. So that's what we're going to talk about, let alone the acoustic performance. But one of our products that many of you are very familiar with and very comfortable with over the years is our Model S4 panel. Uh, it's a fiberglass core, it's wrapped in a scrim face, an aluminized reinforced scrim face, and you can get it in a white or a foil facing. Uh, it comes in one, two, or four inch thickness, and it's class A fire rated. We can mount these to walls and ceilings to soften and give us that sound absorption. And this is some examples here, a generator room, you can see all the silver, uh, walls is in a generator room. And then on the white, uh, in the upper left, it, they put it in the above a shipping and receiving area and snaked it in and suspended it from the, uh, the girders there to be able to absorb the, the forklift traffic noise. Another product we have that you're very familiar with is our quilted fiberglass. Uh, it is just a reinforced, uh, uh, it's a fiberglass that we quilt in house. It has a nice reinforced fiberglass cloth facing, usually is gray, white, tan, or black. Uh, but you can mount that to the walls and ceiling and put it within the space to absorb sound. It comes in a nominal one, two, or four inch thickness. Of course, the thicker the material, the better the sound absorption. And also it is class, fire, class A fire rated as well. 
And here's an example here where there's a really congested space and uh, you, you couldn't enclose anything. So what we did was add absorption to this space by using uh, uh, horizontal tiers of these panels. Another one is our hanging KB803s. That's another absorptive product. Uh, you got a fiberglass core, you have different facing options. Right here, it shows a vinyl, our standard facing, but also there's a Tyvek facing if you need FDA approved uh, 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 encasement. And we have that, factory installed grommets. It's also class A fire rated. And the most common sizes is a two foot tall by four foot long baffle or a four foot tall by eight foot long baffle. The nice thing with this, this is a candy store, uh, a candy factory operation. And the nice thing with these hanging baffles is they're four foot tall, eight foot long in this case for scale, it's a 20 foot high bay. And the nice thing here is that they don't interfere with the lighting or the sprinkler systems. And, and, and basically as it's hung there, you're adding absorption to that space. It doesn't always matter where you put the absorption, all that matters is that you put it in the space. And these were actually with the Tyvek FDA approved facing since it was a candy operation. We also have rigid absorption panels, something you might use out in an outdoor equipment yard or in a, in a factory hammer mill room or a pump room. Uh, it's rigid, perforated, galvanized, or aluminum panels. Uh, they got a fiberglass core, they're wrapped in a poly bag, uh, they're class A fire rated, standard two or four inch thick that can be used indoors, outdoors, and also mounted flush or standoff, you can have a standoff of a wall of one or two inch air gap between that and the substrate. Here's an example here. So we looked at a few products that people are very used to and, and, and use from Kinetics and we thank everybody for using those products, but what's new? And, and that's why we're here today is what's new. And our first new product is our industrial panel, we call it PET. And PET stands for polyethylene terephthalate. Okay, it's also known as simpler polyester. Uh, it's the same material used to make plastic water bottles and soda bottles. And, and so what we do here is it, it, it's very durable, it's long lasting, it's safe, no formaldehyde, no VOCs, uh, recyclable, bleach cleanable. And, and that's really great because all those features then are built in and exhibited by our new absorptive PET product. Okay, so that's what's really good. And I just opened up my news app this morning as I do every morning, like many of us do. And the frontline article, I kid you not, that actually this morning was Legos are announcing that they are now using recycled plastic bottles to make Legos. And it, it the note in there was on average, the plastic of one, one liter PET bottle is enough to make 10 two by four Legos. I just thought that was really neat. So everybody's getting into the scene and really because of all these benefits and also due to the fact that they're recyclable. When you look at our PET, it's an absorptive product, a polyester based product. Uh, industrial facilities in this version of our, of our uh, polyester product, industrial facilities usually when they have a noise problem, uh, you know, their solution is not planned. A lot of times it's retrofit. Maybe uh, OSHA is saying, hey, or, or they want to avoid any OSHA uh, citations or, or, or issues and, and they find areas to be too noisy within the plant based on the, the quantity of time workers are there, or they want to get people out of earplugs. And so what they want is the best product that's going to give us the most absorption for the least amount of initial cost. All right. And so uh, although there are thinner versions of this product that Kinetics offers through our clean line for our interiors group. And there are more colors offered by our clean line in our interiors market group. What we do is we picked out industrially the two that we feel are the best for industrial applications that are the most economical for the maximum uh, noise control and absorption. So when you look at it, we're looking at strictly a one and a two inch thick product. The sizes are I say sizes, but we're really selling a four foot by eight foot sheet. And we're not as real concerned with doing custom sizes, because remember, we want to get more, more cost effective for those jobs that don't have the budget built in or it's retrofit. So the nice thing with this product is it's easily field cut. All right, it's easily field cut. You can cut it by hand, a straight edge utility knife, or better yet, you can actually find buy a blade for a circular saw and cut this material and fit it up in the field. So that that gives a lot of flexibility and we'll show you a few pictures. And then the colors are simply white, black, and charcoal. 
a gray color. Now we can get other colors, no problem, but these are the most cost effective for you. Uh, it's all class A fire rated. It's uh, impact resistance. There's different levels of impact resistance. This is right in the middle, what we call medium impact resistance. So it does give you some resistance, especially after it's mounted. It gets pretty, not rigid, but pretty uh, uh, taunt, uh, like a drum head. And then it's easily field cut, as we had mentioned. If you look at the performance comparison between the one and the two inch thick A mounting, which is a flush mount, you just put it right up against your your wall, say, uh, substrate. And you can see the absorption coefficients here. You can see it gives you, there, there's a huge difference in sound absorption at the low frequencies by just going to one to two inch thick. So you're probably gonna pick two inch thick most often because you're going from an NRC of a 0.7 to an NRC of a 0.95, which is not a huge, I'm sorry, but it, which is a huge increase on the low frequency noise control, especially at a thousand Hertz and below. But there's not a huge price increase. So that's what's really interesting. Uh, here's an example at, a, at a, a, a power facility where they have some of this mounted to the walls. You can see it's mounted overhead, it's mounted to the walls. You can even see here there's a cutout, uh, which they were able to field cut out of a four by eight sheet. And, and that's what's nice with this product. You see in this case, they actually pin it to the wall with uh, stick pins and paling pins with uh, caps that go over. And then whatever's left, they snip that off so you get a nice flush mount. That's one way. There's also other ways to mount this to the wall, uh, which we show in the next slide here, which is what we call our, our uh, uh, pin clips. We have different pin clips here. And those pin clips get mechanically fastened to your wall, your substrate, or your ceiling. All right. And then what you do is before you put the panel, the PET panel in place, you then use an all all purpose adhesive, construction adhesive. So you have both the impaling or the clips uh, and then also the adhesion where it holds it up in place till the, the constructive adhesive uh, cures. Now we also have a little chart here. You know, if you're going four by eight and uh, then you're gonna want six of these clips. If you're going anywhere up to five feet tall and four foot wide, you only need four clips. So we can lay that out for you. But the key here is buying the product and then cutting it in the field and giving you that flexibility. All the other products that I showed you before the PET are actually meant to be factory cut in most cases to size, and that adds lead time. So another thing besides uh, cost effectiveness and flexibility in a field, you can often get this product much quicker, a quicker lead time. Another product that we have is our rigid panel absorber KNPE. Now, many of you are familiar with the KMP panels. I showed them in the beginning as an existing product. This is a KMPE, which is an economic version of the KMP panel. It, it has the same sound absorption performance as the KMPF, our flat panels. Uh, it has same materials, either a aluminum perforated or galvanized or galvanized perforated. Uh, it can be powder coated. Everything's the same. However, it can offer up to a reduced cost of manufacturing that is up to 30% by folding in just the two sides and then utilizing this top and bottom channel to actually cap that. So everything comes uh, to the field, the insulation is bagged, it's inserted into the panel, but there's no perforated turn in or, or frame at the top here or the bottom. Instead, these 10 foot long sticks of channel uh, are offered and that's the top Z and the bottom J and those can be powder coated to match. And the nice thing there is if you have long walls or long straight sections, it, it, it's a great way to install this. It also makes it easier to install and also makes it easier to make your lines of these long runs of panels very true and very uh, level. Um, and once I said, I say up to 30% initial cost savings. And that I say that that way because uh, not to mislead is that if you have a lot of like size panels, you're going to get the 30% cost savings. If you have a number of custom size panels, different size panels on one job, you might not, you might not experience 30%, you might experience 25%. But that's the only reason I say up to. And this shows you a different way, you know, basically how to mount it to the wall. Uh, the panel here, like I said, has no lid. Instead, it has rigid sides and perf turn-ins, and then you use the top uh, Z and the bottom J to hold them in place. This is an example of an equipment yard. It can be used indoors, but I have a nice example here of an equipment yard that shows those long runs of channel at the top and the bottom, and these are actually not capped. But this channel works as that protective cap 
uh, for outdoor applications, for indoor applications, and the bottom channel does the same. So it's a nice product. It isn't, a, it isn't uh, gonna be right for all applications. There are limitations. Uh, we uh, might not want to go as wide as a standard framed KMP. We might not want to go as tall, but you should always take a look at it and see if it's applicable for your job. And kinetics reps and kinetics uh, personnel internally, they'll be able to determine if your job is suitable to use this cost effective option. If you look at all the products we were talking about, our existing S4 panel, our KFA quilt, and then you look at the PET and the KMPE, which is actually the same performance as a KMP panel F. Um, but if you look at this, you can see here the quilt itself, this is all based on two inch thick product. It's all based on A mounting, which is a flush mount. And if you look at this, you have the center frequency on the X axis and the sound absorption coefficient on the Y axis. And the S4 panel, you'll notice here in the blue, uh, the top line here, it gives you great low frequency performance up to about 500 hertz. And that's why a lot of people like the S4 panels for like generator rooms and things like that for all that radiated low freak, mid to low frequency noise. Of course, it really falls off on at, a, at, 500, at, at above 500 hertz to your sound absorption. If you look at the quilt, the KFA, you see it doesn't give you a lot of low frequency, but it starts to give you some pretty good mid to high frequency noise control. Uh, and then the PET, well, let's go to the KMPE. It gives you the dotted dash line, uh, the red line. It gives you some great low frequency and mid frequency noise control, but once again, it falls off in the high end. But let's look at the PET, the polyester. It is great because it gives you fair low frequency noise control, but then it also gives you very good mid to high frequency noise control. So it's kind of giving you the best of all worlds. Whereas most of these give you either low frequency or high frequency noise control. And I did something here. If we were to compare the initial price comparison and uh, in the blue. So what I have here is, is net price on the X axis and the different products on the Y axis. And the interesting thing here is in the blue, that's a price comparison. So that's your initial price, initial job cost uh, comparison showing you that um, for the KMP standard, the the fully framed uh, metal frames and 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 things, it, it it is the most expensive. But there are reasons for that, and there are applications where that's very important. Now the KMPE, once again, a great product, has limitations on sizes, but it can be used in many applications. That's about that 30% less. When you look at the S4, that would be the next, the medium cost product. The quilt is a lower price product. And then the PET, look at the cost savings on a PET. Once again, quicker lead times. Uh, right now, use it indoors. All right, we're looking at an outdoor version, but right now use it indoor applications. Um, you can field cut it. And uh, that gives you a lot more flexibility. And once again, saves on the initial cost of the product, but also the lead times. But look here, I superimpose the NRC. Remember the NRC, uh, noise reduction coefficient, the bigger that number, the more absorption you get. Well, look at this, the standard KMP, all flush mount. These are all flush mount and two inch thick, okay? You get additional NRC goes up if you do a uh, offset mount. Uh, but the KMP is a 0.9 for two inch thick. A KMP is a 0.9 because it performs the same. It's just a cost savings, different construction. The S4 is a 0.94, that's really good on a two inch thick. The quilt is a 0.8, but remember a two inch quilt, you sew it. So now the two inches are really, that's nominal. It gets crunched down a little bit, uh, maybe about one and a half inches instead. And then you look at the PET, it's an NRC of 0.95. It's the highest of all of them and the least costly. So not all jobs are right. It's not right for all jobs, but you definitely want to take a look at it. So first of all, thanks for joining us. Uh, I have our market page here. And uh, this is our landing page for our industrial and environmental markets. You basically will see the link below uh, that picture. You have your rep, uh, rep locator. It's a point and shoot. Uh, you just point where you want, pick the market you want on a map, and it'll tell you who your local rep is. And then one of the best emails out there, or the simplest emails, and many kinetics uh, markets have these, uh, if you want to send something you don't know a specific person, send it to industrial sales at kineticsnoise.com. And uh, this will help you, uh, we'll direct your, your request either to the proper rep or somebody internal or to our Canadian team. So it's all of North America, actually worldwide to all of our agents around the world. So.
Thank you, folks. Have a great week.